All right, so Alabama, congratulations, right? You won. You won, right? Y'all won. You know, it's a lot of things that result in y'all winning that football game. And not all of it has every, everything to do with Alabama. It has everything to do with our coaches at LSU. Just deal with less miles, I don't understand. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. And this is the next day. I got on the same clothes from yesterday because I've been up 24 hours. Like, I haven't gone to sleep. Like, I've been up literally. I've been up since the football game, right? So, yes, yeah, it's the same clothes from yesterday. I don't understand, man. I don't understand how we could wait a whole year. We waited a whole year, a whole year, man, for this one football game, this one game. Our football season don't really start until November, to, until, until this week of November. Yeah, I don't even know why we even play the rest of the year, because the rest of the year don't even matter. It's only one game a year that, that matter. We really need to just have one game season. LSU just needs to have a one game season. Why are we playing Western Kentucky? Why are we playing all of these schools? Well, we really only need to just play one game a year. And if we win that game, then we go to the to, to the championship. So if your whole season, Les Miles, if the whole season, man, is based on one game, how you how do you get how is that your game plan? Like I've watched every Alabama game this year, man. I've watched every Alabama game, Les Miles. Every game this year, I've watched them. Not because I, I I like Alabama. I hate Alabama, but I've watched every game because. I need to know how to beat them. Like, I need to know how to beat them. Like, I know how to beat these guys. I have a game plan that would have beat these guys. How in the world, Les Miles, you go into a football game without a strategy for a nine men in a box? Bro, they got nine men in a box, Les Miles. And you're going to try to run Leonard into nine men when you have two tight ends. The way you beat that is with... Your tight ends. You put your tight ends in the game. Alabama was daring you to pitch the ball 10 yards. We never even tried. We pitching balls all the way down the field. When 10 yards would have got us first downs. I don't, I don't blame these kids. Coach didn't have us prepared. This is the same way we wasn't prepared when they embarrassed us in the Superdome. LSU board of directors, you got to fire Les Miles. You got to fire him. If Steve Spurrier can step aside for the good of the program, then Les Miles has to step aside for the good of the program, man. If you love Les, My Les Miles, if you love this, this state, you love this football team, you need to step down, man. You need to, you need to just go in on and just get out of here the whole... Look at, look at the sky. Look at the sky, Les Miles. Look at the sky. Look, 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 look. See how I look when we lose? Look. This is what you're doing to the state, man. This is what you're doing to us. Look, look. This Sunday, this Sunday. Saints playing today. Don't even matter. Look what you're doing. Look. This is what happens when Alabama, when LSU... Loses to Alabama. This is what happens. It's cold. It haven't been cold all year. This is the first cold day of the year. This is what happens when we lose to Alabama. It's cold. It's like, it's like 60, 60 something degrees here. That's freezing. We don't like cold. Leonard Fournay, don't worry about this. Don't worry about this. Right? Don't worry about this, man. You're still a superstar. Right? You're still a dynamic running back. This is the fault of your coaches. Your coaches did this. Why, why is our offensive coordinator in the boot when Alabama offensive coordinator, Lane is on the field with his players, man. Lane, hey, listen, listen, Les Miles. Lane is on the field with his players. Why? On oh, God's earth is our offensive coordinator all the way in the boot. What we in the boot for? The, the offensive coordinator need to be on the field with the kids, man. They just, they just out of touch. It's just out of touch.
touch. It's just out of touch, man. We waited all year. And see, nobody want to say this, man, but I'm going to say it anyway. We waited all year for this game. Yeah, it hurt. Yes, it hurt. Because ain't nothing else left to do. Nobody worrying about the Saints. Whatever the Saints do, they can do. They making millions of dollars. When the Saints, if the Saints lose, Saints go 0-16, it don't even matter. LSU football, LSU football will never be LSU football until we get rid of Les Miles. We have to get rid of him. He has to go. He has, if you, if, 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 listen to me, board of directors at LSU, athletic, athletic, I know you got to get rid of this athletic director because he's not going to fire. He's not going to fire Les Miles under no circumstance. You're going to fire Les Miles. That's one of the mistakes that we have. We have somebody who's from the coaching world as the athletic director. You can't do that. He has to be able to fire somebody, man. You got to fire Les Miles. Go go get Lane Kiplin, right? Let's offer Lane Kiplin the whole city of Slidell, not New Orleans. The whole city of Slidell plus $15 million a year. I got 200 on it. $15 million a year. To leave Alabama, come coach here. Why not? Why can't we do that? Didn't hey, did hey, 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 didn't they steal our coach? Didn't they take our didn't they take our coach? Did, wasn't Nick Saban with us first? Go go get Link, go get Lane Kippen, go bring him here. Offer him whatever you gotta offer him. Offer him whatever you gotta offer him to get him to come here and fix this. But Les Miles, you got to go, right? I'm sending, I'm sending some money to the U-Haul company. U-Haul, we need a U-Haul truck at Les Miles' house this morning. And get him out of here this morning. Sick of this.